so we're getting ready to go to the farm. There's a local farm about a half hour away from us where we like to go and get fresh pasture eggs. And so here we are pulling into the driveway of the farm, coming up upon some of the beautiful chickens. I could just sit and watch these for quite some time. I would love, I wish we could have chickens in our yard, but unfortunately we can't where we live. So this is the next best thing. Here are some ducks too. And we're gonna head back to the kitchen. We're being inspired today to read Corrupts by Suzette. And this book is by Monica Wellington. And as you can imagine, we are going to make the recipe in the back of the book for crepes or crepes, we can tend to say, but uh, we don't speak French. Anyway, this is a really interesting book because it takes place in Paris. And I love a book with a map in it. And this one does have a map in the beginning of the book. So you can do some map work with the kids. And then the illustrations are really interesting because they're done in a collage style and they're based on um, postcards of Paris and pictures that the author illustrator actually took um, herself on many trips to Paris um, and then done in a collage style. So you get to see lots of different um, places in Paris. The people that you meet in the story are also based on um, paintings or sculptures done by French artists. So in the back of the book, it has not just the recipe, but a note on the, um, on the, the different pictures that you see and what uh, paintings or sculptures that they're based on and where you can find them and all sorts of things. So a really fun book that has lots of different tie-ins for, uh, doing some extra work like map skill work for social studies and um, finding Paris on a map and all those sorts of things. And then of course, cooking. So we like to have our crepes um, many times for dinner. And so we're gonna go ahead this morning and I have a helper who's gonna help me this morning. And we're gonna go ahead and make up the batter. The batter is very simple. It's just eggs, milk, flour, sugar, and salt and we're just gonna put it all into a blender. You could mix it by hand. I prefer to do it in a blender because it just, it really incorporates it. And then you can use the batter right away, but it's best if you let it sit in the refrigerator for at least an hour um, up to overnight. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna prep it this morning. We're gonna put it in the refrigerator. We have a volleyball game tonight, so we need a quick and fast meal. So I will whip these up um, after we're done with school and then the kids get to fill them. My kids love to fill them with Nutella and sliced strawberries. That's their absolute favorite. Um, or sometimes just sprinkle powdered sugar on them, but you can put jams in them. You can make them sweet or savory. It's totally up to you. So let's get our batter whipped up. All right. So I have my helper here who's going to assist me. So we're going to start with a couple of eggs. If you want to crack the eggs and then we'll put them in. Oh, eggs, eggs. Eggs, <laughs> those are eggs. Eggs that we got from the farm. If you do it on here, it might be a little bit easier. That's fine, just pull it apart. Pull your shells apart. Kind of get where the break, there you go. Perfect. Oh, we lost There's it. a little shell, so here's what you can do, is you can take your shell and just grab it out. There you go. All right, you want to go ahead and dump that one in and then crack your next one? Oh, wash the hands. Well, you, why don't you do it right after you crack your other one? Because then your hands... Can you pick it up and put it in? Because my hands oh, are all sticky. Sure. And I'll drop so it if I try. in goes one egg. It These are the slid out of the thing. <laughs> it did. These are our farm fresh eggs that we get from a farm about a half hour away from us. Oh, no shells in that one. Perfection egg. I'll take that, the perfection egg. All right, we'll put that egg in next. Speaking of eggs, Monica Wellington, she has 
lots and lots of books, but she also has a book just about eggs and eggs um, being from the farm all the way to the market, which oh, is uh, a great one next. that you could pair with this. All right, so let's put, why don't we put our milk in next? So in goes the milk. So we put some of our wet in there, so let's, why don't we put some dry in there. We need one in next. We need a quarter teaspoon of salt. This is the salt part. It is the salt. That's a quarter teaspoon. Yes, and that is quarter teaspoon measuring spoon. And let's put in our whole thing of sugar. And our melted tablespoon of butter. And then that's it. And we're just going to take it over to the blender. We're going to blend it really well. So that is it. We're going to take this to the blender. We're going to blend it up really well, depending if we see any little dry particles, we might take a spatula and knock those down and blend it up really well. We're going to cover it up, put it into the refrigerator until we are ready to cook these up. So I will see you in a little bit when we get to that step. It is crepe cooking time. This batter is a little thick. I should probably thin it out with a little more milk, but I'm just gonna go with it. So they do not do not take long to cook on each side. And then you flip, flip them. All right, crepes are done. We have one side with Nutella and we're sprinkling on some strawberries. And then we're gonna do a fold over and another fold to make a cute little triangle and sprinkle a little powdered sugar and voila we have crepes <laughs>